So, to take this, you're supposed to have a talus. If you don't have that, you take this and touch. See, we're going to start right there. So, we're going to read right there. So, okay. Okay, so you touch that. He's taping this. Now you recite the bracha. Okay, and you do it after me. See if I can remember it, okay? And you just say it with me, okay? Baruch Hu es Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Hu es Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach. We are Ram Boed. Baruch Adonai. No. Baruch Hu es Adonai Hamborach. We are Ram Boed. Baruch Hu es Adonai Hamborach. We are Ram Boed. We say it with me. Baruch Hu es Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vayed. Baruch Baruch Ato Adonai. Eloheinu Melech Haolam. That's Hanukkah. Yes. Baruch Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vayed. Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Ashe. Oh, has it? I just did it. Bokabono mi call Hami, then O Temano el Tarato, Borochato, I don't know, and O Tenatora. Is this what you say on your bar, Mitzvah? Yeah. Do we have to remember that? You have to remember that blessing. It's just a short blessing. You should have it here so we could learn it. Um, I could go to the temple and get it. I could get a Sidor. Yeah. No, don't. No, I, I don't. You know, they never gave me a key, and I have a key. All right. So, who does the? So then I, we read the Torah. Who does the chosen? The rabbi, right? Who is chosen by God? Me. Mm -hmm. Right. Does, what does Israel mean here? Who is Israel? God, David. I mean, God is Israel, right? See, this is a sheet upon being called to the Torah. Baruch ato Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam. Baruch hu et Adonai, Hamburach, Baruch hu. Oh, so that's it, that's it in, 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 in English? That Maybe. Yes. I don't know. Baruch ato Adonai, Hamburach, Baruch hu. We have to learn this. I just want to get it done. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. This one, then, because we did practicing, remember? Well, you... look what it says here. Go to the Torah, up to the Torah, by the shortest route available. So if I have the Torah, and I ask you to come up, how would you come? So what is your name now? What did we decide? Adina. 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 Adina Bat Shoshana. You know what Bat is? What is Bat? Daughter. Daughter. Bat Shoshana. Shoshana is your mother's name. Susan. Shoshana. Okay, yeah. Yamot Shlishi Adina Bat Shoshana. Now you're supposed to come up by the shortest, longest route available. You go to the other side. Shortest, longest? Shortest. Shortest. Shortest route available. Shortest route available. Right like that. And now you're going to leave. So how do you leave? The shortest route? No, the longest route possible. This way. Okay, do you want to do it with me, see if we can do it together? All right, but what can is I this? Can I say it too? I don't know what this is. Can I say it too, Dad? Yeah, sure. Baruch uh, Hu et Adonai Hamborach, Baruch et Adonai Hamborach, Leolam Vayet, Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Ashi, oh no, Baruch et Adonai Mikol Hamim, Lena hotein lano et torato, baruch ato aronoi notein atorah. What's the word notein? Remember we were learned the word the Hebrew word notein. Giving. Giving. Does it mean giving? Gives. Gives. Good. No. Good. No. Doing. No. Great. No. Great is gadol. Gadol. Notein is a verb. Means going or. Yeah, going. Do I have a finger point? Yes, but you can't wear them because your ears aren't pierced. Yes. 
It's not near me either. Ed. Not yet, but it's going to be someday. Maybe. So why won't your dad let you get your ears pierced? I don't know. I don't know. Dad? Um, Elohim? Well, wait. <laughs> she wants to get her ears pierced. What? what do you no, want? no. Well, yeah. So you can tell uh, Bart what we decided about that, what I decided about he that. He decided. He thinks that it. it's a sign of slavery. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's what you did when you were a slave. When the ancient Hebrews had slaves, they would give, they would pierce their ears and put uh, rings in their ears to show that they were slaves. I thought it was bracelets. I thought it was. Anyway, what? So I said that the girls could have their uh, holes put in their ears uh, only when they were old enough to decide for themselves. And that was when we had our bar mitzvah. If we don't have our bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, bat mitzvah then we can't have it if we don't have our bar mitzvah. That's right. Well. Then I don't care if you're not going to be by the mitzvah. Mm -hmm. well, you can even have a tattoo in your nose. But you know that you're going to be by the mitzvah. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. What do you have to do when you're up there? Well, one of the things is you have to do this. That's the only the... thing that you say in Hebrew. No, then you have to read that portion of the Torah. You'll know how to do that. It's... You'll memorize it, right? Yeah. Someone... yeah. yeah. You'll know how to do that. And is that it? The all you have to read? Yeah, and then you have to make a speech. In English. Mm-hmm. And, right. and you get a lot of presents. Yeah. A lot of presents? Yeah. Lots. It's big bucks sometimes. <laughs> a lot of bucks. Yeah, Katie went to a um and she got seven hundred dollars for no, her. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. She her mother gave the person a hundred. Wow. And her parents gave her like Katie's mother? Gave her I hope we're rich money. enough to do that. A hundred dollars. Who gave her them seven hundred dollars? Her mother, the real mother of uh, the mother of the daughter, the mother of the father, gave her seven hundred dollars. All right, do you want to do the brokers? You want to learn the brokers? Let's learn the brokers. For what? Are we going to do this? That's what we're doing. But we're trying to translate it. I'm trying to understand these words. Do we All have these to do words. this. Do we have to do that? Yeah. Then well, I'll understand. Once I translate these words, oh. I'll understand what that is. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Our third sentence. Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Baruch Adonai. Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bocha Bonu Mikol Hoamin. Bocha Bonu. Bocha Bonu Mikol Hoamin. Put your finger on the word when you say it. Asher bocha bonu mikol ho amin. Asher bocha nu. You hear this upset over there. Well, what this is all about is that this is a woman with Alzheimer's, a good friend of ours, a teacher and everything that's living with us now. And she is perfectly rational given the supposition that she can do it herself and why should anybody be touching her body? be moving her when she is perfectly capable of doing it herself, which is totally unreal because she isn't. She can't get up by herself, she can't clean herself, so we have to do that for her. But at the given moment when she is being touched by somebody in her private parts or wherever, she feels uh, abused. She feels that somebody, because she, the one unrealistic thing she has is that she thinks she's capable of doing it herself. And how dare anybody touch her and do that to her when she's perfectly capable of doing it herself. But in truth, she's not capable of doing it herself. And in truth, she must be clean because otherwise she would be unfit to live with and get sores and die some horrible disease. So she has to be clean. So it's reasonable within the context that she's perfectly okay you understand? Mm -hmm. It's reasonable for her to be disturbed that you're touching my, you know, my private parts. You're doing this to me. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? You see? Mm -hmm. That's perfectly reasonable. But Dad. it's not real. <laughs> Dad! Yes? Dad! What? Yes, I'll help you. He answered two questions. 
What are the two questions? We um it says who uh it says um who does, who does the shooting? shooting? God. Who, who is, is being shot? Maybe Bart can help you. Can you help us? Sure.